Here's the problem. The money we save for retirement in a tax-deductible account, like a 401k, 403b, or IRA, and the money we earn on those accounts is only tax-deferred. Every dollar we deduct now will be taxable later, and we will pay those taxes out of our monthly retirement income 20 or 30 years from now, when tax rates could be much higher. For example, if we save $500 a month in a 401k, 403b, or IRA for 30 years, that's a total of $180,000. And if our money earns 5% each and every year, we can withdraw $2,734 every month for the next 20 years. That's a total of $656,000. So we get a tax deduction on $180,000 over 30 years, but we pay taxes on $656,000 over 20 years. So how can we earn tax-free interest on the money we save and withdraw tax-free income when we retire? With Internal Revenue Code Sections 101 and 7702. These two provisions of the tax code allow us to earn interest on our money without taxation and withdraw income during retirement, also without taxation. What's more, these special tax code provisions also come with a contractual guarantee to credit our money with an interest rate based only on the growth of an equity market index, like the S&P 500, but without any risk of equity market losses. That's because our money is not actually invested or at risk in the market. The market index is only the basis for the interest rate credited to our money. So when this index increases or gains value within a period of time specified in the contract, an interest rate, as a percentage of those gains, is credited to your account value. But when the index decreases or loses value, zero interest is credited to your account value and those index losses are never deducted. However, there is a maximum limit on how much of the index gains can be credited to your account value during the period specified in the contract. So you might not get all of the index gains, but you don't get any of the index losses. For example, if the index increases by 20% during a one-year period, The interest rate credited to your account value might be only 13% or 15%, not the entire 20% gain for that period. But if the index decreases by 20%, even if it loses 30% or 40%, your account value will simply be credited with 0% interest for that year, which means that your interest earnings are always preserved and your money is always protected from both market losses and taxation. And here's the best part. When you decide to convert your savings into retirement income, the tax code allows you to take the money out as annual tax-free loans that are automatically paid off when the contract terminates at the end of your life. However, if your life should end before you retire, your family will receive tax-free cash equal to at least double or triple your account value, money they can use to pay off your mortgage or their college educations. And with some contracts, you can also receive tax-free cash if you're diagnosed with a critical illness like cancer, stroke, or heart disease, or if you are given less than a year or two to live, or when you need nursing home or assisted living care. But all of these tax benefits and contractual guarantees are only available with equity index life insurance. That's right, life insurance, because equity index life insurance is a uniquely tax-efficient financial instrument that can guarantee a lifetime of valuable economic provisions, including tax-free retirement income. So ask yourself this, if the tax code allows me to earn interest on my savings, without taxation, and then withdraw my money without taxation, doesn't it make sense to take advantage of these provisions? Then ask yourself, how will you feel in your 60s, 70s, and 80s when you're filing your annual tax returns and you don't need to include the money you withdraw from your equity index life insurance?